Kenyan students will get an opportunity to study and conduct research to boost the country's capacity in innovation once the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology in Konza Technopolis is complete. The established model, of, the established model after South Korea's KAIST institution will position Kenya as a growing hub for technological in innovation. Kenya's youthful and tech-savvy population and its commitment to green energy has steadily been attracting foreign investors seeking to tap into a dynamic economy. Among key collaborations include a flagship project in collaboration with Korea to establish the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which is currently under construction in Konza Technopolis, targeting to elevate Kenya's capacity to move up the global technology value chain. Technopolis, which is now approaching completion and to start operations next year. This will enable us to go into what we call tech economy or knowledge-based economy and will be a tool that will enable our SMEs, middle-level companies, can transition to IT companies and create possibilities for Kenya to have companies like Samsung, like LG, that we see today leading global uh, tech and electronic industry. The government has also secured 31 billion shillings in funding from the Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency for establishment of a digital media city targeting to provide a platform for youthful local content creators to monetize their talents. So we are expecting within two years there, we'll be able to have this project to take up, unlocking huge opportunities for our young people in the digital media space, for creating animations, creating games, software development, and many other related things in the media space. What, what we are trying to do now is to pitch the, to Korean investors to set up in those special economic zones. There they will get uh, affordable uh, land, industrial land, supported by, of course, the quality infrastructure which the government has built, but most importantly, incentivized through the fiscal incentives that they are going to be made more competitive. We have had a lot of programs and a lot of support, uh, capacity building programs, uh, projects in transport, agriculture, water, and many more in the pipeline. So I can say it has been a very good relationship of continued support. The government believes this will make the country a fertile ground for tech startups and small, medium-sized enterprises. Trevor Ngendo for Prime Edition.